is uh, Dr. Niloy Mitra. I'm one of the pediatric consultants here at Bhagirathi Neotia in Newtown. I'm going to give a small talk on immunization. First, let's start about why immunizations are mandatory and important. Um, it is uh, to be noted that immunizations cover us against uh, deadly diseases. And not only that, it uh, gives us herd immunity so that we don't pass on these deadly infections to other unimmunized people. So um, it is an insurance against the future and an insurance against disease and its prevalence. So I personally feel that immunization should be made mandatory in every setup and children should be immunized before they go out into the community or join formal education. We uh, divide immunization into schedules as you can see here. Um, it's been printed by our hospital here. This follows the latest schedule from 2016, though this is the latest one and we haven't upgraded it yet. Um, there is a new schedule that will come out in 2019, but that will be very slightly different from what we have currently. Um, as of now, the baby starts with immunizations at birth, which is uh, covering three diseases, uh, BCG covering uh, tuberculosis, OPV covering polio, and hepatitis B covering obviously hepatitis B. Thereafter, we call our babies back every six weeks. Uh, so at six weeks is the second round of immunizations, followed by 10 weeks and then 14 weeks. And that completes the primary immunization. And thereafter, we carry on giving the boosters. But saying that, there are some vaccines like typhoid conjugate and um, Japanese encephalitis and meningitis, which are covered much later in life. So their primary immunizations come at nine months to later. Um, must not forget about MMR which is first given at 9 months and thereafter followed up at 15 months. So approximately at the age of about 2 years the primary immunizations are complete with all uh, the boosters as well. However we suggest that you come with your child back again in between 4 and 6 years for another booster and thereafter you are done and your child can actually join school. Nowadays most schools in Kolkata are asking for immunization um, uh, certification and also uh, must mention that uh, when your child turns 10 years then the human papillomavirus is due which is uh, usually two doses sometimes three doses and that usually completes your immunization before i finish i must talk about two vaccines one is um, the the influenza vaccine which is a quadrivalent vaccine nowadays if you are giving this, make sure you make the correct choice while giving it and it can be given every year after the child is one year old and it should be given before the flu season starts which is approximately in October. And I must mention about meningitis vaccine as well. Uh, it's a quadrivalent vaccine as well available in this country and it should be given only to those children who are um, immunosuppressed or have a higher chance of developing such infections. It's not part of the schedule but I suggest that you can give it as part of uh, extra vaccines given at uh, three and a half and four years of age. Apart from this, I must also mention about some other vaccines uh, which are not part of this schedule but can be given. Uh, but as I say, these um, are not compulsory vaccines, but if you can afford to give them, uh, it's better that they are given. And one of them is Japanese encephalitis, though I must say that it has now been included in the schedule. I strongly suggest that people in uh, living in the western part of West Bengal and also in the states around um, the eastern and northeastern part of India must have this vaccine because it's a prevalent disease in these parts of the country. Thank you very much.